Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Last episode, no chicky make me hungry, oh no, what can I do? And also Lynn died. But she's alive now, so F it. Can she get chicky dinner now? Here's hoping. When Lynn lost her life on the second time, she was being detained. And I doubt they give chicky dinners, you know, delivery. That, that, I mean, maybe they do, I don't know. On suspicion of my murder. I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. And she said she wanted help. I, you know, it was a little upsetting, but you know, can't force her. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate, or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. Right? As soon as I got back to the junkyard, Superintendent Chalmers' office, <laughs> this fact was really brought home to me. Mm-hmm. What's going on? What funny Simpsons character would show up now? Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight! Uh, my apologies, sir. I never th I thought she'd run away. Lynn's our angel. I mean, our platonic friend who I don't love. I mean, I love her platonically. I mean, she's like family to us. I don't love my family like that, though. But uh, Angel, friend, or family, I don't give a crap. They all run when they get the chance. Any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? <laughs> well, I'll say you do strangle your son. I mean, I, it's not my business. You should probably stop doing that. I'm sorry. I had no idea, uh, sir. Eh, you never make detective at that rate. Now find Lynn. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on it, boss. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry over here. <laughs> if Inspector Cabanelli gets word of this, it's all over. I, I'm kind of not, I'm not, it's like slowly but surely not turning into Homer. I, anyway, what's up that open flame? And that kettle, like, ah. Superintendent's house, I guess. So our redhead detective escaped, did she? I guess I blanked out for a couple seconds while she, you know, we're in the new timeline. I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Ah, she's fast. Well, guess I'll look around for leads. Don't mind me, just going to move from this cell phone real quick. <laughs> it's, it's not a cell phone at all, actually. Can we turn this on? Eh? I'm gonna do that, okay. <laughs> then you definitely know this is the room with the next escaping segment. Oh, this guy's here. How you doing, Marge? This old picture, man. I suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here. I need a lozenge. Those voices. <laughs> Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. Yeah, what are you doing over there, Buster Brown? Huh? What are you doing? So I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped what, through here? It. What? I mean, you would not survive. I. <laughs> Sorry, Sissel, I'm dead again. Can you convince me somehow to not jump through the trash compactor? I'll try my best. She can't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. I don't know. Lynn is pretty slim. <laughs> Fool. Don't you know women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? That's why I make my hair so tall and blue. To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. I'm not touching that. Uh, I'm very sorry. I had no idea, sir. That's, uh... You'll never make detective of this, right? Neither will I. No one can understand what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not touching that, all right. <laughs> Where is that old pigeon man? Uh, him. Uh, through the door behind me, sir. I'll go on if I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the mo- Oh. Oh, crap. Let's try. It won't open. The door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked. I checked myself. I'm proactive like that. These instruments, they're suspicious. Xylophone tuba. Nobody plays the tuba. You better keep your eye on that old man. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Done way. All right, I'm going over here now, apparently. <laughs> this freaking voice sucks. <laughs> All right, so. Learned a lot from that. Can't really do, well, last time. Uh, 
Last time we investigated with these, nothing really happened, but things may have changed now. I have no idea what this instrument is for. I wonder what sound it makes. As a matter of fact, the whole desk is filled with things I've never seen. I lost my memory, but still, that old pigeon man seems a little strange. Why don't we go say hi? I just realized that, yeah, there's this doohickey down here that we can, oh, 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 we can also probably travel using him, but yeah, let's see what's going on downstairs. Eh? I just might be time to clean this room up, but what will that close the matter? The appearance here. Of all places, and tonight of all times, I don't think it's coincidence. Hmm, so it seems like this guy knows Lynn. But where from? Sadly, it doesn't look like I can move around anymore, so I think we'll just, like, hop alongside this dude's, uh, baton to travel now. I could have sworn I saw that thing move. Don't tell me, could it be? I can't wait, this is the wrong voice. I sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it. That was an unexpected, uh, tangent. Uh, I never make detective at this rate. What I need is some sort of achievement, a feather in my cap. Gotta find a pigeon. <laughs> I got an idea. If I could find a helpful lead that might do the trick. Helpful and blindingly obvious is staring me right in the face right now. Uh, maybe we try the desk swivel again and then turn on the light. Oh, right. We didn't do that in this timeline. I'm so... What? That was so obvious. It's all this time travel thing. It's getting to me. Wait a minute. This is Lynn's secret diary. I mean, notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. No, you should do a good deed. That is more... Man, I don't have to know. Go for it. Maybe she, maybe she like that. What to do? What to do? It's a very complicated matter. Well, I mean, I can't hurt to, you know. I mean, I'm just killing time here in the president's office or wherever the crud out of you. In fact, my president. Oh, what have you got there? Oh, uh, this is uh, uh, my algebra homework. Stupid algebra homework. That being a blue binder. That is pink. Ah, uh, okay, I'll be honest. It's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, huh? Come to think of it, there's something about that in the report. This is just Selma. Mm. Something at her notebook. Make a phone call. Now it's just Yoda. Alright. This guy in green. He just he just can't I just can't get a read on him. This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. I'm becoming a demon. I can't control my urge to dial the phone. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? Oh boy, am I ever. I, I'd, I'd like to know. Nah, but I don't have any alternative motive. Uh, no, sir, but if it's another guy, you know. Uh, <laughs> this number might be an important lead. I better check it out. Oh, golly. So we're not, we're not chilling here after all? Where is this heading? Huh? I can't move right now, so I guess we just gotta let it play out. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Well, we can eavesdrop, right? Or just do it like that. Uh. Hello? Who am I speaking to? Uh. Yes, hello? This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that Dr. Mika? It, uh, I'm actually detect- Is that Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Uh, uh, um, did you get a call from our Detective Lynn earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. She calls me every night. Maybe she sensed it's happened. It's about to happen. What? Did she say anything in special? No, not really. Something wrong. Yes, well... <clears throat> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Okay, toodles. <laughs> just, just on the phone, you know. He's, he's giddy. Let's head over and say hi to... KMR. Why does that sound familiar? 
I'm going to file the report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Uh, excuse me, Detective, but, uh... What? That notebook, uh, you might have, uh, you might have, uh, you know, just, uh... uh never mind, sir. Just stay on your toes. <sighs> he takes it. Oh, heartbreaking. Well, I guess it's in Dr. Mikaze. I'm a detective. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's go say hi to KMR. Sounds like a radio station. You're listening to KMR Radio. Playing nothing but Madonna and MJ all night long. <laughs> what was, wait, hold on. What does this guy sound like? Hmm. You know, a lot of these dudes, they're just, you know, police guys and hats. It's kind of hard, but I'll give them my best shot. What was all that call about? I heard you say Lynn. <laughs> uh, I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> The only place in the world where nothing's going on is inside your brain, Bailey. <laughs> is he just a ditz? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know the what the words mean. That's not what I'm talking about. That was my way of expressing indignation. Putting in the form of a question. You make me so mad. Yeah, do that. Also, I'm drinking wine on the job, apparently. What? I just hope Lynn's not doing nothing crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know? Literally is half the city in love with this lady. I mean, she's got red hair, I guess, but... According to my log, Lynn's been calling here nearly every night as of late. So let's see. It's the place Lynn took all that rest to call, eh? What exactly is this place? The burger joint? For some reason I get that, uh, oh. There's someone imprisoned here, you don't say. Oh, well, we can just kinda waddle. Oh, can't do that yet. Darn it, we're stuck here for right now. The screen shows a row of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small. You see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy. I want to live in this one, in one myself. So Sissel doesn't even know what a jail is? Wow. I wonder where these little rooms are. They're clearly paying attention to them. Let's see what this thing is. A memo. Oh, we can just use that to warp around. There we go. Now I'm on the other side. Uh, Don't throw that in the trash, please. Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night, so I wouldn't forget them. You can't keep them in your head. It's like you have a ton of duties, after all. Use a little brain power, bud. <laughs> That's a good chair. He can recline like crazy. What are you talking about? Weren't you the one just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Make up your mind. I'm curling the stance like I'm going to take a toot. Uh... Take it quite in that direction. Uh, mm, well, I'm gonna sit back down now. What is going on here? What are his duties? Let's see, this important to-do list of yours. 900, take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. 900, that's when Lynn usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are Rules. Who is this? Ah, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could comfort her. Uh, I've unintentionally made this guy's comeback. Oh, that's the one thing we didn't want to happen. Dang it. But what do you think you're doing? That's my important to duty. To duty. To do list. That's okay. I've got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Uh, yep, I'm on it. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Okay, this is this is quite different than. Well, oh, someone's calling. 
Well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna pay. I'm just gonna eavesdrop. I mean, what else we're we gonna do when we're a ghost? Oh, hey, we're just... she actually jumped through there. Um, hello, Lynn. I'm sorry. I don't have much time. Please talk to me. Or please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, Detective. I I, I can't do that tonight. You can't. But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Uh oh. What? It's like your dad or like your sister in there or something? By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? <laughs> why do you ask? Nothing in particular. I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think you could keep this call between the two of us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I don't know. Oh? Well, I've got to go. I'll call again tomorrow. The dump? What's going on with Lynn? Real to oh, new new phone. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's how we get down there, really? Oh, boy. Well, I guess I better call the detective division. Are you snitching? No. D dude, come on. Now, cool, bro. Hold it there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're going to report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on your important to-do list. I can wad it up and throw it away for you. Hey, I like this guy. Hold on. Sometimes simps are okay? Question mark. Mm -hmm. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Yes, I want you to be quiet for once. That'd be grand. Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but... Tonight's kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exception for Lynn, too? Special case, huh? All right, you win. Wow, he was insanely... That was really flippant. I also want to check out this phone book. It's been a minute. Let's uh, let's, let's pop over and see what's been updated. Looks to me like just a recap of stuff we already know. Super. And also, wow, there's a lot of dudes in this game. Crud. Giving them all unique voices will be kind of a pain. But I'll try my best. Let's, uh... Oh, I definitely saw a dialogue thing. Where'd it go? Where'd go? Eh, no time to lose. All right, whatever. There's a non-zero chance that old timer might come after and kill Lin. Or... What? Whatever. How? All oh, right, I did that. Whoops, he doesn't... He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. Whoa. Oh, no, okay, he reported it. How? Don't tell me locked room. It's always a locked room. Lin! Lynn, I'm a god! Why couldn't it have been me instead? Okay, dude, hold on. I'm no use as a police officer. It should have been me, not her! It looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. You know how to the ghosts and the guy up in there. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? No, oh, when I get a hold of him, I'm gonna use my baton and shove it in the rear. Hey, uh, excuse me, mister. They're talking to me? Uh, uh, this room. Ain't any of the exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? I do not. <laughs> then how did... We must have one of those locked room murder cases. Oh, jeez. <laughs> one of those cases where the murder vanishes in a thin air like a vacuum! Let's go find a real detective, you dunce. I'll keep watching here. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. I'm not. I don't suspect you one bit. Haha, <laughs> See. Ya. But no, last we saw, Lynn was standing near the trash compactor, outside of the room. Hmm. Why would she go back in here? What a terrible turn of events. Oh, jeez. So now, locked room murder, huh? Things never get dull uh, without redhead. I know for a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery, but probably not this one. No mystery for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim. 
Guess it's time to go back and see the truth. Of this murder with my own eyes! Thank God I don't have to solve the locked room mystery! Yay! Get me in there! Wait, but... Oh, yeah, that's the only one we can do. <laughs> I died again. Isn't it funny? Not really. I... I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances, actually. Yeah, well, this is the third time. It's scary what a girl can get used to you, don't you think? I don't think that's gender specific, but, uh... I think that the way your mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? Spit it out. Dunno. Oh. I'd like to know myself who could have done it, but... Oh yeah, who shot me? Oh, why are you asking me for? I'm trying to find that out. Oh boy, I guess I just gotta find out for myself. All right, she's no help. Okay. You just do that. Hurry along now. Come on, come on. Stop the crime. Hurry, I got the stuff to do. So, so pushy, Jesus. Got the distinct impression of being used here. <laughs> well, what's that, a smile? <laughs> you know what, I ain't half bad. <laughs> I like being useful. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Back to the best lock samurai chat. Watch it! All right. Johnny, and then play the clock animation. I'm gonna kill you one of these days. I love the clock animation. My bad. I'm double tapped, I'm excited too. Let's get to the crime, yo. Hmm. She hears something. Does he just chill out down there in the complete darkness? I mean, I edit these videos in complete darkness. That's because these lights are really hot. And I don't, you know, gotta save power, right? So, how long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe. I've just been playing too much Kingdom Hearts. But it was just the time wasn't ripe. Hey. Well, whatever. I'm out of here. Oh, right. She gets spotted. There goes her whole cover. Is he knocking on the door? Oh. Right. Uh, whoa! Jeez. She is slim. And slick, too. Oh my god, Johnny. Now you have the hots for her? No! She... Uh, I'm just saying, she's compact. In that compact... Oh, what's happening? I mean, he wouldn't on the compactor he's you know it's his off hours he's not working on his off hours that it don't work that way you know eh? he hung up well fiddlesticks what the oh right dang i guess they said something but we're not privy to their conversation okay and she goes in there and gets shot Thing is, we don't even know how she. D Wait, is it like a. What? It's. It's a security device? You're joking. What? Why would you do this, old man? What is wrong? What is wrong with you? What? That's the truth of the locked room murder? So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine. <gasps> murder machine. When I came into the room, it was pitch black dark, so I turned on the light, and I guess I got shot. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? Oh, I, I, sorry. The old pigeon must have made it. But why? I mean, the old pigeon guy, the pigeon didn't make it. I mean, that'd be ridiculous. I mean... Who's really the brains of the operation? What could be the meaning behind the weird room? Anyway, you have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over for me. I'll never see the, the living world again. She's just, you just smiling too much. I mean, we gotta work on that. I mean, no, we, we, ideally she should smile, whatever. Let's just have to get a move on. Oh, well, we can't do anything quite yet. Let's to move around a bit. We can hear his thoughts. Oh wait, no, that's Lynn. You know what, Sizzle? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murder machine. I mean, the murder's mechanical. You told me to stop saying that. She has a point, I can't manipulate living things. I can manipulate the crap out of a machine. I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set into motion. Looks like the key to solving this one. 
is understanding the device. All right, so maybe we should just, uh, no, it'd be a waste of time just to watch it again. It's where you know the result, but maybe it'll give us a hint. How long has it been since I locked this room in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe I, ah, screw it. <laughs> just leaves. Okay, sweet. So we're gonna hop in here. But that's the only way I can... No, what's going on? I can't trick the light. No. This is my worst nightmare. This one starts really effing slow. That's a pain in the butt. I hate when it does that. But oh wait, he has to raise it. And then we can go in here. But we can't activate this phone, right? Yeah, figures. Well, we definitely want to stay on this side of the door. So let's just chill out right here. And then... What does he do with the lamp? Does he leave it? He totally just leaves it here. No. Dump. I'm confused. Okay, hold on. Just gotta be patient. Right? Right? How'd you manage to cram yourself in that tiny little elevator, Lynn? <laughs> I'm always like small and cramped places. Kind of my thing. Whenever I see a little hole or a crevice, I always feel like crawling in. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. That's, uh, interesting. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. <laughs> We're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. Yeah, time's kinda, time's kinda tight right now. Just saying. A phone call happens. Dude, no, this seems unwinnable. Uh, uh, what the dump? Wait, wait, is this my chance? Because he's, he's on the phone. If maybe I can... Yes, transfer. Yes! Ooh, that was it. Oh, uh, is this the superintendent? I'm so glad. I thought I was all alone. I'm so scared. Can you sing me like a like a cartoon opening with Animaniacs? But, you know, they had that during your time. I'm sure you've heard of it. Okay, go over there. Just shut the freak up, kid. Then we can go... Hmm. I guess we just go our normal way. Oh, you hung up on me. I guess he... <laughs> That must be 90s cartoons. It's, just, it's all over. It's all over for me. I'll never find my redheaded babe who loves animation. <laughs> Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines. Oh, he's actually just doing that. Who shines as bright as the sun, ran away from me. This, those detectives matching bookends, blue and green, yelling at me. And the old man with the dirty blue dove on his head completely ignored. Oh my god, I kind of sympathize with this guy. He's getting the cold. He's getting multiple cold shoulders. He's only got two. Come on. If only somebody give me a kind word right about now. You want to give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Oh goodness, how embarrassing. Uh, let me see. Hang in there, buddy. You're such a good friend to me. It's like we're siblings. Yeah, I don't think he wants to hear that. I'd like to see you do better. You're gonna find a great gal pal someday. Yeah, okay, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> okay, I guess we have to do this again to get him up on the move, right? There we go, perfect, perfect positioning. Awesome. Wait, he takes that and moves it down? Then ran away. The detective yelled at me, the old pigeon man ignored me, and then the cattle nearly scared me to death. <laughs> My life's in complete shambles. <laughs> it really is. That's gratitude for you. We're just trying to warm him up with the kettle whistle and he's getting all PO'd about it. Would have preferred getting scalded by the steam? Sheesh. At least his fate's changed a bit. That's good. That's real good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now get back, get back. Oh, no, dude, we don't get more time. All right, let's just get out all down here. We, we have no options. We can't use the moat. What? I... I'm at a loss. If only we could maybe... Mm. No, we're stuck here until he moves around. I guess he's just kind of... He's going to stay in this position. I'm thinking maybe we... Oh, oh, oh! Something's going on downstairs. Let's investigate. I guess the door's open. Yeah, Lynn's opened the door. No! What? No! No, 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 no! No, what? There it goes, the murder machine started, yay! And if the whole thing plays out, the gun's going off on your head. Before that happens, 
It's up to me to use my ghost tricks. There must be some way to disrupt the domino effect. You just have to find it. Here it goes. Nothing! Oh, oh, here we go. Hoist, move it, move it. Now, 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 now. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta uh, just start, just start messing with, just, just like, I don't know, just open up random crap. Start smacking stuff. Toy cake, get out of my face. Open this trap, trap door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do one of those, do one of those. Uh, this thing, this thing, turn it back, turn it back. The other way, the other way, spin it. Oh, I know this toy. The wheel spins in the, and moves down the pole. Hey, look, there's a thread attached to it. Looks around the clock and ties the frame. It seems to be connected to our fiery cupid. This toy seems to be the heart of the entire mechanism. But inertia is surprisingly powerful. Can't stop it once it's in motion. So just... Oh, uh, no. We can't... I was hoping we could, you know, do something with the arrow. No. Is it actually over? Bro. Oh, I tried, Lynn. I really did. It, yeah. Okay, I didn't shoot her in the head, though. I mean, that's good, I suppose. Frick, I'm not too... How many times did... Why can't you just make me escape through the trap door in the floor? You and I both know that's impossible, Missy. Although, I thought I saw a new path open up to us when I opened that door. But I did miss my chance to get back on the main path afterward. Guess I better rewind the clock. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I think I know what he's saying. Let me see that again. Okay, focus on the door. Focus on the door first. Let's try the hoist. Does that move anything? The toy, the, the toolbox. If we open that, maybe something changes. A ball. Oh my God, the bowling ball. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that doesn't help us here, but it could help us in the future. So I have to hop over to the toolbox. And when this toolbox opens, we're gonna wait for this to fall. Wait, 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 open it, open it now. Oh, no, no. Yes, yes, that's what I... Hey, that was pretty good just now. Maybe if we're on the pudding green. <laughs> we're not golfing here. Well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it to some use. Yes, the ramp. Good thinking. Nice to be able to use that trick now. If I could change the path the ball takes. Okay, we're so close. Okay, this time we're in the ball. We're in the ball. Open this. Then how do I get back up? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, ooh, you have plenty of time. Oh my god, we got it. We... I don't got it. Well, yes, I do. Because now we just need to be a little patient. Oh my god. So satisfying. But a bing! Yeah! Oh, dump! Yes, let's go! Happy birthday. Was this not designed to be a... Why is the gun there? What just happened? Talk about random. Looks like your future's got a whole lot rosier. Your death's been erased. Again, don't mention it. Uh, thank you? Why she looks sad? You kept your promise, didn't you, Cecil? No way. You said I'd see you again if I died. Ah, did I say that? It's all for my own benefit anyway. Kind of like a team. I mean, not directly, but, you know. What could this room be all about? Can't even imagine. Those things that went off at the end, those were party poppers, weren't they? It's a birthday celebration. For his pigeon, maybe? I have no recollection of what they are, but party poppers. That's no surprise. The party popper pops the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. What? I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I got my own puzzle to figure out. Shall we go back now? To our new present? Oh, was it just there to make that pun? Probably not, because that doesn't work in Japanese. Whatever. But it's clever, Capcom. Very clever. Then she go down that latch there? I mean, she's kind of stuck in this room otherwise. Cecil, are you there? Lynn's talking to me. Huh. Flattered. <laughs> Take a cold shoulder. I mean, she, she doesn't seem like an ice queen. If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. What does that make me? Uh, well, you're kind of a weird girl. Whether you talk to yourself or not, seriously, who... Who sleeps in between the mattress and the wall? That's who even sleep like what the Whatever. 
Guess we have to make ourselves known? Will this do? Guess so. You are here! I knew it! I just had that feeling, you know? Like that creepy feeling, like a, you know, like a ghost is near. You know what I'm talking about. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that. A ghost doesn't have a feel, bit. It's just a figure of speech. Jesus Christ, you're a handful. Hey, did I, did I say anything? Did I? That tone. It's that tone of yours that makes me so mad. I'm just vibing, lady. I don't, I, you have something in particular you want to tell me? Hmm. I just thought I'd share some information with you. Oh, I thought she was going to say, nope, she was just bored. I'm investigating a case right now. See? A murder case. And I'm doing it alone. Huh. All by yourself? <laughs> yeah, that's what all alone means. I guess you forgot that, huh? Well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit's already behind bars. Forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it? How to get someone... Because they're innocent, that's why. Yeah. There's something strange around the case. Some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at, at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Well, how about that? Then is my only lead. I'd like to ask you a few things. Okay, don't mind if I do. About the one who shot me. Any idea? You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. But all I can confirm, it's not me and probably not Ms. or Camilla. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory isn't clear on that part. Not cl What? I met you tonight. And then you fell right in front of me. I think where I remember seeing that part, I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe somewhere far away? You didn't see the culprit. Dang. I'm sorry, I wish I could be more helpful. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. <laughs> so we've narrowed down the suspects. It's me, literally? A clear alibi, everyone else on the entire planet? Could have been them. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. Despite half of them madly in love with you, I... I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information. Wonder what info I had for her. Does she end up getting it? I feel like that's reasonable to ask. What'd I tell you? So I had some info. That you wanted, huh? Then you started blasting. Me! That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Dang, how about that? I was knowledgeable. <laughs> In the past life, anyway. Now, not so much. I'm talking to myself here. You said you wanted to meet and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it. <laughs> what a sucker. <laughs> Even giving out fishy, it sounds. Crazy. You're the last person I want to hear that from. <laughs> she's so... I don't know if this voice works for her. But she's, uh, she's just that archetype, I guess. The ideal girl. A detective, Johnny? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I just couldn't let it go. No matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Yeah, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. It's like the statute of limitations. They're like, is he getting executed? What's going on here? Is it something I have to do the case you're working on? I'm sorry, I can't talk about it. Not even to a ghost? Oh boy, I guess I understand. I mean, I really don't, but like, I... So about Camilla... By the way, I see you got a little roommate. How do you know about her? What? There was a tiny incident in your apartment a while ago. Oh, what kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla all right? She's fine, thanks to your little friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble coming back to life. Oh my goodness. What in the, wor in the world is going on? Why would anyone hurt Camilla or Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? Yeah, I don't know who they are, but... I saw them. The people who are calling you their target. In a tiny little room. It was kind of freaky, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. 
Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Duh. You know what they say, when it rains, it pours. And I feel like it's gonna be pouring bullets, Lynn! God dang! Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my power? <laughs> when it goes that far, buddy, I'm a capable detective, you know. I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Okay, hold on. I, I'm not gonna call you stupid or nothing, but like, What? You kind of need me. You saved my life tonight. And that's totally cool. And I'm really grateful for that. Don't get me wrong. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. <laughs> well, I guess uh, I guess we're done here. Wow, that is... I, mean, I just don't understand what's going on. Like, she... I gotta, I gotta trust... I mean, it's, it's her call. I can't... I can only get a little upset. You're not really going down there, are you? So what are you gonna do now? Run away, I guess. Well, catch me again if I don't get out of here. I'm gonna have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah, that turkey place. You know, the chicken kitchen. <laughs> I love chicken so much. <laughs> the dead end drive, right? Yeah. Can't wait to see. The reviews are great. What about you, Cecil? What are you going to do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... Hmm... I just realized you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight. And none of us have any help. Yeah, that about sums it up. But you already prematurely said, I don't need your help, sis. So you big stinky head. <laughs> Even if you can't cooperate with me, how about we just agree to use each other? You got to phrase that differently. I don't. <laughs> what? That's not a bad idea. You're on. But I, can I ask you to do me a favor first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Oh, we're going back there? That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go and find a certain prisoner working... Prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow? I'm not going to be able to see tomorrow, so... Uh, uh, work schedule for a prison? Oh, yeah, I guess they make, like, uh, a license place in there or something. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner scheduled for the next day is written on the small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard. Okay. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. <laughs> okay, you're on. <laughs> Easy for a phantom detective. Here, let me give the chicken kitchen's telephone number. If you ever get your body back, they do to carry out. Like, probably not to the ghost around, but whatever. <laughs> just... All right, we're in. We're in. Kitchen. Wait, whoa. Where are you going? Uh. Oh, thank God. Okay. I thought it was a bottomless pit. Could have been. Okay. See you later. See ya. But don't die again. If you can help it. <laughs> oh, he's so. He's so catty, this sizzle. <laughs> Golly. Thanks, she go. Oh, hey. Ray. There he goes. Hey, old timer. Watch where you're looking, man. Looks like I. Hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating. She holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Huh. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. Better get to the prison. Hmm. An intro. <laughs> Dang, that took... Whoa, it, that's... 30 minutes? Bro, we're running out of time. This game. Oh, we get a JPEG of Lynn. Awesome. Okay, anyway, we're playing more. What can I say? The game's got me like this. Like a vice, I suppose. But, yeah. Lost memories of self. Forgot murder case. A dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. It's a pretty good, pretty good scenario for a video game, I think. Detective's assignment. The dead guy. A task. To sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. I could have just asked him, what should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. It's okay, Sissel. I think it's understandable anybody would be sulking a little bit right now. Can't hate, can't hate the guy. I mean, it's just how it is. Anyway, we... This room sucked. 
Just genuinely sucked. I'm glad it's over. Oh, something's going on upstairs. What's going on, bro? Oh, what's happening? Is he down on his luck? Is he depressed? I mean, obviously. It's all over. <laughs> it's all over for me. Lean, my sweet, gorgeous, bombshell babe, who shines as bright as the sun, run away from me. I always knew I was complexionally challenged. Do I have zits? Yes, you have plenty, not to get over it. And those detectives matching bookends, they yelled at me. Forget about that. Now listen to me, kid. Ah, uh, yes, sir. What is it? The right as the sound Lin probably doesn't even exist, you know? Those attacks will probably yell at you for your life! Even m never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life! Get what you can out of it! D missed it! <laughs> but she's so hot! <laughs> Would you mind leaving me alone? I tried, I really did. <laughs> okay, let's go. No, not to the kitchen. Chicken. Place. We're going to... This area, I believe. I mean... If that's not D99 cell, I... Uh, I don't know how we're getting there, to be honest with you. But I imagine, yeah, it has to do with this rather peppy fellow. So how are the preparations coming? I think they're taking care of them right now! Yeah, man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you! I didn't know you thought about such things! <sighs> By the way, that was me being sarcastic! Just in case you didn't catch that! Two more hours. And it's time. I guess we should get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Seems like this guy's getting a lot of work done on the right side. <laughs> on the left. What does he do all day? What do I do all day? Other than eat delicious chicken meals. <laughs> the atmosphere she is seems a little tense. Guess I'll just get back to my work as usual. I want you to go find... It's literally uh, just effing happened. Like, we, <laughs> we know. <laughs> you probably play this game episodically, but like, I don't know. I was the type of kid. I got to put this game down. I must see what happens next. Alrighty then. How do I get to those cells? Better try to get some information here first. I can do that. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like this guy's got a lever next to him. That could come into play. Maybe his house of cards comes tumbling down. That's a possibility. Or maybe I could get that phone number. Hmm. Depending on how these memos are let loose, we could, you know. No, put me down. Put me down, turd. Ah, dang it. He's gonna do it again, won't he? Hey, Bailey. Hmm? What's going on? Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Uh, inspect prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What'd that big whale do anyway? Whoa. You don't know? How about the Metro Police Department siege case? Whoa, whoa, what? C-74 barricaded himself in the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. They even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner! Why'd he... Why'd he do that, of all things? Like, that's what the detectives surrounding him asked. What are your demands? They asked. And? This is... This is nuts. The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Curry and rice, that's it? No chicken? Unfortunately, no. I guess he was vegan. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Important documents, the commissioner's mustache, were destroyed by the flames. Wait, is that guy that the Rose Lady's dating, is that, is that what we're doing with? No, he's a he's prime minister. Silly. No, 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 no correlation. What the heck did you do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he says. <laughs> no such thing. It was too spicy and he just lost it. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves through the country. It doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? 
It's a complete mystery. <laughs> Why didn't they just ask Sea Sonic for himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Is this a joke or is it like... Is this actually important to like the overarching story here? <sighs> Stinging stupid Sea Sonic. Oh, okay, we've done this 20 times now. <laughs> oh, he's up and at him. Why'd you quit throwing my important duty memos away? They're not waste, even if they are duty. <laughs> I like this guy. Okay, let's, uh, let's try the other one. That'll get him really mad. <laughs> I'm such a... Ooh, I'm such a trickster. <gasps> uh, that one's all, like, nasty and covered in grease. Ugh. Hey, Bailey. Yeah? <laughs> What's the matter? Can't even put up a memo properly. You're two for two now. Let me see this. C78 to telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the telephone a while ago. You already told me that early. Why are you repeating this? It's like you're an NPC in a video game or something. What'd that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Nah, uh, you already know I haven't. Uh, C. 38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of the encore, there was a huge incident. Well, is it a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. What? How does a rock band guy know that? I I'm lost. What do you... The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. How different are we talking? What? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. How does a rock star know that? Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. What? I guess his hotel room was next to the Watergate scandal. You know, just, uh, just overheard it all. Uh... He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. So he was a plant. And now we're not talking like an industry plant, like a singer. He's just, he just knew it. How did he know that? In the case sent shockwaves to the country. Oh, we already knew that. Doesn't make any sense. How does he know that? How would a rock singer know that? It's a complete mystery. What? Why did they just ask you? Oh, my God. Maybe they did. They haven't released anything. Apparently, it's a national secret. Okay. Freaking. So we're right back where we started. We. Would you quit throwing away my memos? Ugh. I'm not going to stick up for myself or do anything about it. So all of that was pointless. No. No. We. <sighs> Is there a way to get that phone number? Because otherwise, I don't think we're getting over there. Wait. No, because when he throws it, I can't effing move. Hold on. I'll just observe a little bit and see if we get anything else. And then we'll... If not, I'll hit the bricks. Is that even a saying? Hit the bricks? What? Yeah, yeah. That's when you run away. I got Mario brain. I just imagine Mario just, like, punching a block. I, anyway, he's been building cards. He's just he's just scribbling. I guess doing his memos. This sucks. Let's head to that chicken restaurant. I'm interested. We know you are, Johnny. You never shut up about your chicken. What can I say? It's lean protein. And it's good. I'm always in the mood for chicken. Not as much of a steak guy. Ooh, this song, though. I don't see any customers declaring their love for chicken tonight. <laughs> yeah, singing coming from the kitchen, though. Oh. Oh. Speaking of Mario. I love you. Right down to the marrow of your bones. But your marrow is nothing compared to your glorious meat. Yahoo! It's gonna get pretty old if this is a major character. Sorry. It's not a bad singer. Not a bad impression either. Guess Lynn ain't here yet. I have a job to do. Let's do that first. Right. Sorry. Emergency switch on. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What is happening? A bazooka? Excuse me? There you go again, fooling around with that thing. Oh, I can't. He's not even phased, bro. He's just focused on his uh, tower of cards and I guess one of cups. Uh, well, I mean, 
Toma, you know you used to jump up and prepare. You love to jump up and prepare for an emergency. Why, who does that? Oh yeah, sure. Way back when I first got this job. Ah, enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same. <laughs> uh, I'm not a. St I'm not an NPC. Stop calling me that. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much back in the day. Just like my ex wife. What? Well, it's uh, it's for emergencies only. Don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe I ought to get it repaired, huh? Stupid. <laughs> well, close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. All these bullets and machine guns and <gasps> triggers and explosives. Eh, too much of a pain. <laughs> hey, that's all right with me. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad state of affairs. Hmm. I guess it is. What are we got here? Yeah, night vision goggles. Oh, Cecil, don't you dare. I mean, where else can we go, though? We, oh, can we? Oh, dump, we're so close. Could I just, dang it, if we can get to the, mo if we can get to the rightmost monitor, we're in. Oh, dump, really? Come on. I thought he would finish. Oh. I thought he would finish building the effing tower. Let me see this. Bring D... D99. Oh my god. The chief is preparing it for him right now! Oh, fancy. D99. Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in the front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world would he do that? Why would he do something like that of all people? The motive? Everything's a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't. I, it just doesn't make sense. I would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison, built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99, who knows what he's thinking? Or hiding behind that beard if it, oh, it's not me. Cecil ain't got a beard, I'm cool. I don't like any of that. No, I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, huh? And apparently he's got a beard. Cool. That's... That doesn't tell us the, his freaking thing, though. Dang it. Would you quit throwing my stuff away? Ooh, makes me so mad. Yeah. Uh, another memo? I think we got them all, right? It's time. Oh, thank God. I thought I physically had to waste time. Uh, oh. It's the rock guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alternate universe Ibuki? I mean, except like, you know, leaking military and you know, national secrets. Uh, anyway. Still can't have to move. <gasps> the glass! Yes! Yes! Please get me to the TV. It's done. Cool, 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 cool. I don't care. Okay. Yes, finally. Finally. Bruh. We can open, press this button. Oh, wait. No, do this first. That's like I got talking about. Guessing that's the kid they're talking about with the national secrets and stuff. He's a prisoner. He must come from the cells. Right. Oh, we hit the button again. Darn it. I don't see a way over there currently. Hmm. I right, press the button. Then move real quick. Ooh, yep, that's how it works. Okay. Examine his guitar. Because, I mean, he's talking on the phone right now. I guess we can't make it. This is the thing that makes that horrible noise a second ago. <laughs> Guess this was not one for rock and roll. Guess it's a way spikier hair youth to expect from himself. Sentiment like, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. What? Huh? What's going on? Peace out. Later. I'm done. That was brief. Okay. Guess that's all we had to do. But wait, we're in the guitar. All right, C-38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about giving me a little space? 
That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. Why does he walk like that? The proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way to my own music. What the? He, he, yeah, I, okay. Uh, alrighty. And I guess, oh, there's the other inmates. Oh my god, that guy is, what's up with that guy? So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that info? I got no clue. But I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Just getting that segment of the game took an effing eternity. So we might have to pause it here. Dang it, I know the game's getting so fun, but ah. Uh. Episode lengths. Don't you think I can take another second in that stinking pit? Ugh! You get... This is the most spacious cell ever. Oh my god. It's better than my house! What? Looks like guard man's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe? And basketball? What is that? What is up with that get him? All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one finally do it. Go on. Oh, he's sending, he's sending messages through the toilet. Maybe? Come on, sausage head. Sausage head. Could that possibly mean, you know, that other guy? Oh God. Huh, this prisoner's obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Dina Nana has a beard. It's one of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in the cell. Maybe we should check out Spiky's schedule for tomorrow. Okay, we can do that, but we gotta stop here with this uh, very interesting music. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Ghost Trick. More coming soon. Until next time, I'll just be here in the cell with this uh, energized youth. Until next time. Bye-bye.